Hello students, I hope you have enjoyed your long weekend, even if you are just at home. So today we are going to continue our lesson in video editing. And for this lesson, I'm going to show you how you are going to add video effects. So again, make sure you click on this effects tab right here on top of your screen. And you will see the effects right here at the right side of your screen. So for this lesson, we are going to use video effects. And if you click right here, you will see different folders. And for each folder, there are different effects inside. Now, video effects is different from video transitions. As you see here, there is also video transition. Video transitions are the effects at the beginning or at the end of the clip or the picture, while the video effects are actually the effects all throughout the, the clip or the picture, not just at the beginning or the end. So for this video, I'm just going to show you maybe two or three different effects and how you are going to apply them. So. The first thing you need to do is to make sure you click the clip on the timeline and then you choose which video effect you want to apply. So for the first effect that I'm going to show you today, we'll use the blur and sharpen video effect. And for this one, we'll use the Gaussian blur. So just click and drag the effect to the picture or the clip that you want the effect to be applied and so um, right here you just need to click the effects control to see the effects for that clip so right now you see here there is Gaussian blur already so these other effects are already the, by default it's already in any video or clip in your timeline which we already have learned for the last video so for this one we'll just use the gaussian blur so here there is blurriness there is blur dimension and this is the value of the blur so if i'm going to drag it to the right you will see it's the effect if i drag it to the left it will go back to zero Let's try to animate this one. So I'm going to drag this playhead on this effect timeline. I'll start with a, let's say, 50% blurriness. So I'm going to drag it to 50, and you will see this is the 50% blurriness on the image. I'll click this one to create a keyframe. So you'll see right now there is a keyframe here. So at the beginning of the clip or the picture, it will be blurry. Then I'll drag this playhead and add another keyframe like this one. So this will be the next action in your animation. And so for this, I'm going to make this one zero. So the effect would be something like this. So 50% blurry, and then it goes back to its original display. Okay, so that's for Gaussian blur. Now, I'll move to another clip in my timeline, and I'll use color correction. So for this one, I'm going to use color balance. So you can either double-click this one. It will be added right here in the effects panel. Here you can see you will be able to adjust the color of the picture or the clip. So you have here the shadow, the midtone, and the highlights. So you have learned this in Photoshop. Shadow is the darkest part of the image. Midtone is anything between the shadow and the highlight. Well, the highlight is the brightest part of your image. So you can actually change the color of the picture of the clip by adjusting these options here. So I'll just reset it to original. And 
I'll just try to adjust the shadow. So same thing, I'm going to make animation. So I'll start from the beginning. Let's say I'll start with red shadow for 50, green shadow for 50, and blue and red as well. And then I'll create these keyframes. You will see it's like this in the display. I'll move this playhead from the timeline, add a keyframe, and then go back to zero, and it will go back to its original color. So, now if you want to specify a specific color then maybe you can just adjust either the red, the green, or the blue from the shadow, the mid-tone, or the highlight. So let's, let me remove this um, keyframes and maybe reset again. So if we try just, um, just the red balance, Okay, so if I move it to the left, it's removing the red color from the image. If I move it to the right, it intensifies the red balance. So same thing with the mid-tone and the highlight. If I want to change it to 100% highlight for the red color, then this is the output. Okay, so let's say I want it that way. So I'm going to remove all the other keyframes by clicking this toggle animation. So I'll use just the red shadow and the red highlight and move the playhead to the, from the timeline and then add the keyframe. Put this back to zero. It becomes the original color. So this is how you are going to change the color of the picture of the clip in your timeline. Okay. So for the last effect that I'm going to show you today is let's try stylize. So for this one I'm going to use emboss. So as you can see, this is emboss. So if you want to create animation, do the same thing. Okay, adjust the blend with the original to make it the original. Okay, so the effect will be like this. So you can actually do the same thing with all the other effects. So you just need to follow simple steps like this. You just need to add the effect and then you animate it using the keyframes. So for the activity today, I want you to look for the effects that is appropriate for your video. So that's all for today.